All right, fourth grade, let's do our language now. So we worked with pronouns last week and we talked about subjective pronouns. So those would be um, I, I have them over here, I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Now we talked about how these pronouns are often most likely going to be the subject of a sentence. That's why they're called subjective pronouns, okay? I like to read. You need to do your homework. She read for 30 minutes. He went on typing.com, okay? They are not in class today. We wish we could be at school. See, those are all the subjects of the sentences. So before we move further, I need you to get make sure you have your language books open to page number 155 and a pencil in your hand, okay? Language books. Page 155, pause, go. All right, page 155, we are recognizing different pronoun forms. So pronouns are not only I, you, he, she, it, we, they. They come in different forms as well, okay, for different purposes. So when we're looking at these, we don't say Gus and I on the telephone, or Gus called I on the telephone. Okay, if we were talking about Gus calling myself on the telephone, I wouldn't say Gus called I on the telephone. I would say Gus called who? Me on the telephone, okay? So the object is, the objective pronoun, okay, an objective pronoun is what we're going to learn. They are often, they often come after the action verb in the predicate part of the sentence. So the object of what is happening, okay? So Gus called, who did Gus call? Me, all right? So the object of the action is why they're objective pronouns, okay? So, Another form of I would be me. Now this one's really easy because you stays the same. You doesn't have a different form. It's always you, always, always, always. So Gus called you on the phone. Does that change anything? No, Gus called you on the phone. All right, what about he? Gus called he on the phone? No, Gus called him on the phone, okay? Gus called she on the phone? Gus called her on the phone. Gus called it on the phone. That works, just like with you, it stays the same. Gus called we on the phone. Gus called us on the phone. Gus called they on the phone. Gus called them on the phone. Okay, so it's really just changing it. These objective pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, them, they're most likely going to come after the action verb, okay? After the action verb. So let's look down on think A, okay? Read the following sentence. Notice the pronouns after the verbs. Can you think of a noun that the pronoun could be replacing? So dad hit John and me some grounders. Is that correct? It is, yeah. They hit me or myself some grounders. John, Dad hit John and Miss Cumberland some grounders. That's what that's what it would basically be. Okay, Abigail made us some sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> Abigail made the family some sandwiches or the class. Charles helped him and her plant some bushes. Charles helped Grandma and Grandpa plant some bushes. All right. Over to number four. Mom bought them some ice cream. Mom bought the cousins some ice cream. Number five, we beat him and Joseph at tennis. We beat Bob and Joseph at tennis. See, they're just replacing different um, nouns. Let's go down to think B. A pronoun in parentheses after each incomplete sentence is in parentheses after each incomplete sentence. Change the form of the pronoun to make it fit the sentence. So, number one, we thanked he for the special treat. Does that make sense? No, we need to change it to the objective form of he. So he, the objective pronoun form is him. So we thanked him for the special treat. Go ahead and write that in there. Number two, Brian and I told they about Jesus. Doesn't really work because they is the subjective pronoun and it's not, a, it's not the subject. So what is the subjective or the objective form of they? Them. Let's see if it fits. Brian and I told them about Jesus. That does fit. Go ahead and put it in there. Number three, would you take I to study school? Doesn't work. We need the objective form of I, which would be me. Would you take me to study school? It does work. Number four, Natalie and I took she a fruit basket. Doesn't work. The objective form of she is her. Natalie and I took her a fruit basket. 
Sounds much better. And finally, number five, Adam and Michael beat we in the Bible sword drill. Doesn't really make sense. So the objective form of we is us. Adam and Michael beat us in the Bible sword drill. Okay, so just changing it to make sense. This is going to come second nature to you guys because you use these pronouns all the time without even realizing it. Now it's just putting words into actions. Okay, I would like you to turn the page over to page 156. There's a lot of words on that, but really what I just need you to know, okay, is objective pronouns are also found after these words, okay? Between, for, to, beside, from, within. Between, for, to, beside, from, within. Okay, oftentimes those will be objective pronouns. Please sit between us so that we do not argue. That is for him. Please give that book to her. The drink is beside you. Please take it from me. It is within you to do your best, okay? So, at the top of these other, on your, uh, right here, this line right here, okay? Below the red bar. I want you to star that and circle those because you need to know that those six words are also with objective pronouns as well as action verbs, okay? So star and circle that one, okay? These are your two lists. If you, it, would definitely be worth starring these as well so you know the difference between the subjective pronouns and the objective pronouns, okay? And keep those for further use. So right here, the list of between, for, to, beside, from, within, and then your differences between subjective pronouns and objective pronouns, okay? So these are the important things from this page. All right, so let's go down to think A. Circle all of the pronouns in the following sentences. Let's do the first two together. She sent a postcard to Logan and her. What are the two pronouns in there? She sent a postcard to Logan and her. Very good. We have both the, the subjective and the objective in these in this sentence, which is kind of cool. Okay, number two, I gave her the best looking apple. What two words will you circle in that one? I and her. I gave her. I is the subjective pronoun. It is the subject of the sentence. Gave is an action verb, so her is the objective pronoun. Very good. You're going to finish this and then the rest of your language assignment, and that is all I have for today. I will see you tomorrow.